How to apply Motion Blur in CapCut Hi everyone, welcome back. This is a video tutorial on how to apply Motion Blur in CapCut. To get things started, let's open CapCut. And on this page, just tap on New Project. And then just select the video or photo you'd like to use for this project. So let's try to use this one. And as you can see, uh, we have a section here wherein you can see the video in um, the expanded video section here at the bottom of the page. And as you can see, we also have different options at the bottom of the page, like edit, audio, text, and whatnot. But if you take a look at that, there is really no option for motion blur. So the next best thing you can do, um, instead of going to effects or filters, just tap on the expanded video section and then you notice how the options at the bottom of the page change you can now swipe to the left and then you should see motion blur all the way to the end so just tap on motion blur and then you have the option to customize how you would like um, this motion blur to be applied on your video or picture so let's go ahead and increase the blur to maybe 100 and the blend to at about 80. I'm not really sure if this is a good con combination, so it's really up to you how you'd like to edit it. Um, for the direction, let's just go for that. And how many times you'd like it to be on the video? I'll probably just do four times. And then just tap the check mark at the top of this page once you are done customizing it so let's tap on that check mark and then wait for it to complete all right now the motion blur has been successfully applied to this video so you can now check if it looks good to you and if it's not you can then just stop on the motion blur um, option and just continue to edit it but to show you how it looks, let me play this video. Notice how the motion blur has been applied here. So yeah, that's how easy it is you can do it. And you can then add some music, um, but if you don't want that, just make sure to save it by tapping on the save icon at the right top corner. And then wait for this to save as well. So you have already successfully applied the motion blur manually. But another option for you to do it is to just use a template. It's so much faster. And to do that, let's exit out of this new project and just go tap on template at the bottom of the page. So tap template and just look up or tap on the search bar and look up motion blur. So let's type motion blur here. And as you can see, let's just correct our spelling here. And let's just wait for the results, but notice how we have several options here. You can just choose from the following if you'd like to maybe use this one. All you have to do is tap on it and then tap on the Use Template button at the bottom right corner of the page. So tap on Use Template and then you can just add all the pictures or videos you'd like to use for this one. Let's try to use some photos and then just tap on preview and wait for the effects to be applied so notice how it was easily added on the picture um, but keep in mind that it's basically following the entire edit of that template you have selected so if you'd like to if you're okay with that then just use a template find the best template for you and then um, add the photos and videos to it and save it. But if not, do it manually like what we did. And that's how easy it is to apply motion blur in CapCut. If you found this video helpful, please let us know in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.